Hi there and welcome to Arbor Plus. In this tutorial, I'll be giving you a quick orientation of the web app while spending a little bit more time on how to create and send an estimate. So once you log in, you will see something like this. Your company logo at the top left, the different navigation tabs, and under your name is the sales dashboard, your user profile where you can change your password, and company settings, and the main map in the middle. You will only see pins in this map if you've already started adding clients and trees in the field. This is a view of all the clients that the company A Plus Tree has in Arbor Plus. Pink pins indicate properties with trees, whereas gray pins indicates client properties that we've added into the database but who we have not inventoried yet. So let's start with this main map page because that's where the real action is. You can filter by client type, the parent client if they have multiple properties, or the individual property. So let's see what we have under the client type of school university. Why don't we take a look at Burlingame High School. If I start typing, the list will jump to that name. All right, so let's take a look at Burlingame High School as an example. You have your search criteria here on the left. You could expand here to see more filters. You have the map view in the middle and all your trees on the right. The different colors are the different species. You could zoom around just like you would any other Google map. I could click on the icons to see a little snapshot view and it'll also show me where it is in the list. And if I roll over here, it'll give me the tree's little profile. If I wanted to change anything, I could click here on the icon and make whatever changes I need to. Add any notes, add recommendations, remove recommendations, etc. Now if I wanted to make mass changes in this list, I could click this gear icon right here and it gives me a ton of different options which I won't go through now but we could look at another time. So let me close that out. Also, if I wanted to add a tree in the list and I wasn't in the field, nor did I need to go into the field, I could click this plus sign. I could add a tree directly into the map. Say I missed this tree or there was an emergency on that tree. I have to send someone out there, confirm location. I could put whatever species I want, add the notes. And this is a good option if you need to send an estimate to someone and you don't want to go out there. All right, so let's delete that since I don't want to ruin this. Okay, delete, confirm. It'll delete on the map once you refresh. So now let's just say I finished doing this property and I need to send them an estimate. There are three ways I can do it. One, it could be based off the estimate I actually created in the field. Two, it could be based off of the annual recommendations that I gave it in the field. Or three, I could create an estimate that was a special request. So for option one, if I already made an estimate in the field, I would find it right here in this drop down. I would then select the estimate, and I'd look over it, make sure it's all good, and since I put the prices on in the field, I really don't need to change anything, but if I did, I could easily click it, change the price, check. If I wanted to take off one of the treatments, I could exit out. If I needed to add something, I could add a plus. Here I could add any miscellaneous services. Here I could add any job notes. And here are internal notes. Now if I wanted to increase or decrease this entire estimate by percentage, I could click here, change the prices. Or if I wanted to make mass changes to the entire estimate, which helps when I have more than four trees, say if I had 100 trees, I could click here on the gear and again, I have a ton of different options in which I could change all the treatments, different species according to DVH. I could set it to a certain price. I could increase or decrease it by a certain amount, remove treatment, add treatment, change treatment, change species, all kinds of things. I could even add notes to the trees. So let me close that out since I won't be changing anything. And if it looks good, save it and send. I already have all the I already have my field here ready to send it to my client since I already entered them when I was in the field. And if I don't want to send it to all of them, I could just exit out. 
there's a default email, looks good, and send. So now let's look at the second option, which is, would be based off the annual recommendations I made in the field. So let's make a new estimate. I could filter this by 2015, and I could select all the trees that I had recommended for 2015, add to estimate. There we are, it's a big, huge $23,000 bid. Look it over again, if it looks great, I can change this title to test 2015 annual pruning. Okay, save. And again, send the estimate to whatever contacts are on that property. All right, so let's look at the last option of how I can create an estimate and say it was a specialized estimate. Now I clear out all the filters, new estimate. Let's just say I notice that all the Italian cypresses have spider mites. The client didn't ask for it, but I'm going to give them an estimate for it anyways. So I go into Species, Italian Cypress, there it is, 26 of them. Let's see where they're at. There they are. So here I click all, and I want to override the treatment to be insecticide, and I'm going to do trunk injection so that there's no overspray. And let's also do a crown clean on all of those. So let me go ahead, add to estimate. And there are my 26 trees with both insecticide and crown clean. So before I make any changes, I'm going to retitle this estimate. Okay. And I'm going to save it. Now I can see here that my insecticide does not have pricing and my crown clean has its default pricing, which is $25 for these little guys. Probably they're skinny, but they're tall, so it's probably a little low. So I'm going to change my pricing by clicking the gear here, treatment crown clean. I'm going to set my price to be, let's say, 85 each, apply changes. Now I'm going to set my pricing on the insecticide, see that 65, apply changes. And there's my new bid. $3,900. So I'm going to save it and everything looks good. You can make any notes. Treatment is an injection, so no overspray, period. Whatever I want to say, I could add internal notes. And again, if all looks good, I'm ready to send it. And I'm going to send this one to just Sarah Ann. I could change anything I want, but this is the default email that goes out. And then I send. So once it's sent, I will see here that it was sent and it was delivered. When the client opens it, you will also see that it was open, so you could follow up. Now if you want to see what the client sees, you could click here on the link. And there it is. Gives me a nice little pie chart, gives me line item. If I roll over, it bounces cutely in the map. Scroll all the way down, my total definition of treatments. And I could also zoom into the map and see the photo of each tree. For the customer to approve it, all they have to do is click on the green button. They will agree to your terms and services and approve this estimate. When they approve the estimate, both the sales rep and the office will get an email notification that it has been approved, and your office will know to contact them for scheduling. Now that we're all done with estimates and how to create them, how to send them, what it looks like, let's go back in the reports tab and do a quick little overview on what that looks like. So this is where you're going to see a list of your jobs and their status. I could use this search field to find any job or I could narrow down my results by the status. I could see everything that was sent. I could see what's approved, 
what's scheduled, what's completed, invoice and paid, etc. I could click on the job name to see a summary and I could click to go back and edit the estimate or I could click here to see a customer view which is what they will see if they were to print to PDF. Now little tip to duplicate an estimate all I have to do is click on this little checkbox and there it is duplicate and it'll make a copy for you and then just to wrap it all up here is the properties page where you have a list of all your properties clients the same you have a list of clients you could add new clients here and then your users which as you add clients into your database and you send them estimates they automatically become customer users you do not have to create them but you could assign you could click on them and you can assign different properties to them or you could assign clients and you could send them their login information here so that's a general overview for now. I know I went into a lot more detail on the estimates than in, on the other pages, but that is one of the most important parts of getting started. And I hope this tutorial has been helpful.